In this video, we will look to upgrade the firmware on a Draytech Vigor 2850N router. To get started, we'll log into the management interface. A vulnerability scan of the router shows 14 medium issues and some low issues. We will now upgrade the firmware to see which of these are resolved. From here, we can see on the system status page that it's running a firmware from November 2012. Next we need to navigate to the Draytech support downloads page. We can then search for our router and identify an updated firmware is available. We'll then download that firmware file and extract the zip. Within the zip there is a text document containing the build notes. These notes show the release and build date of the firmware, which is May and June 2015. We can also double check that we've got the right models and see that there are two different firmware files available, an all file which will retain all previous settings and an RST file which will re reset the router to factory defaults. You can also download the firmware update utility from the same page. And here we need to navigate to the firmware file that we've downloaded. I will select the RST file as I've already made a comprehensive backup of the router's settings. We fill in the router IP address, the chosen firmware file and the password. Then we select send. This will stage the firmware file up to the router and once the file has finished sending the router will then install the updated firmware. The file has now finished transferring and the status lights on the router are now flashing to indicate that the installation has started. During this time we do not want to reset or power off the router as the firmware is actually being installed. We can simply wait or attempt to access the router from the web page. We can now log back into the router and confirm if the firmware update was successful. We can see May 12, 2015 as the build date and the updated firmware version number, indicating the firmware installation was successful. We can now reconfigure the router using the settings from our backup file. A vulnerability scan of this router following the upgrade shows that a number of the initial security vulnerabilities that we identified have now been addressed. The remaining items identified on this vulnerability scan can be addressed through configuration which we will look at in separate videos.